In this video, I show how I take this older Missouri Fox Trotter mare with a high head and uh, desire to kind of race around in circles and be nervous and turn her into this relaxed, calm, responsive horse in just a couple of lessons without getting your horse all worked up and doing slow groundwork. This is Belle. Uh, she's a Missouri Fox Trotter mare, a little older, maybe 17 years old. When she came to me very high-headed, if you watch the base of her neck, you'll see that she's pushing down. Her ground manners were pretty awful. She wouldn't lead well. This is not how I train a horse here. I'm just trying to show you um, how resistant she was even to traditional techniques of lunging. She's constantly looking to the outside, ignoring all of these different cues that people normally use to lunge a horse. She's not looking at me at all. She's very nervous and high-headed. She was looking at where the other horses were, and she would do this under saddle, too. Not very dangerous, but certainly not responsive at all. And so I just wanted this is just to show you how she is. See how she's even just jerking my arm, I'm not really asking her to do anything. A couple times I have to pull a little harder just to protect myself um, and push her away. Here she just crashes her shoulder into me. Uh, very, not very polite. This is the very first session with her. All right. So here we'll do some, some specific work. Now I'm using a rope halter with her, mostly because it had a long lead with it, but you can use any halter at all that you have, any lead rope. So I'm, I'm, notice I'm staying close to her shoulder. I'm not asking her for any kind of speed. I'm just asking her to back up gently and softly. Again, notice how high-headed she is. She's not paying any attention. I'm actually looking for her to back up and move her shoulder away. And then I walk her forward and I ask her to stop and back up a step just like that. And notice how I soften right away. I ultimately want her to drop her head and move her shoulder just like that to the outside of the circle. If you watch her front legs or front left crossing over her right, right there, that's what I'm looking for. And notice how I drop the lead rope. Notice the slack because I'm not constantly holding it tight. I want her to bend around me and either back up or move her shoulder to the outside. Notice I'm going for very slow, quiet work. See if she's licking her lips there. I let go of the rope. I don't want her to be rushing around. I don't want to have to make her tired or sweaty if I don't have to. I combine it going forward. That's why I'm just gently tapping her belly. That's just to go forward at a walk. And I want her to move her shoulder away from me. Look at that. That's relaxing there. She drops her head. Notice I just relax. Give her that slack. Ask her to back up. Look how soft that was that time. Then we walk forward. Back up. Here I'm lifting my hand to see if she'll move her shoulder over. She did it very nicely. Again, she's still, this is the very first session. This is the same day as the earlier session where she wasn't doing very well. So I wanted to show you we're just continuing that session. We didn't do any other work. I'm, she's never had this work done before. This is the first session doing this with her. Again, I'm just tapping her with the whip to go forward. There, notice her dropping her head. I'm not pulling down on her. And there, I'm just gently tapping by the girth, ask her to move away. But I go forward first. Because only from the forward movement can you ask the horse to move away from you. It's very difficult for a horse that doesn't know what you're asking to move away if they're standing still. Just like if you try to turn a car, when it's not moving, the wheels are very hard to turn. So I am asking her to move her shoulder. Notice that she's still pretty uppity. Now right there, she's looking away from me, tossing her head. She's got her head lower, but she's kind of looking for how she can get away at the moment. And see, I'm just kind of giving her slack to see what she'll do. I'm wanting her to drop her head. And notice I'm kind of trying to be very soft with my movements. There I ask her to step away with her shoulder. And you can watch her whole body. Her, her movements are very abrupt. Her tail is swishing a lot as she's not super comfortable with it. She's responding well, but she's not totally happy with it. She's pretty irritated at different times. But notice that I'm not asking her to do things that are fast and going to upset her. And she's swinging her hips around, but I'm not actually asking for that. 
I'm watching more for her shoulders uh, to move away and for her to lift the base of her neck. If you watch my other videos, you'll know that I, I talk about lifting the base of the neck is very important. That's how horses get balanced. And with gated horses, we really want balance and not collection. And they need to be able to put their head down and lift the base of their neck. There, I'm asking you just to walk with me. Notice my hand's open. I'm not trying to, to communicate tension or stress to her if I can help it. Notice she's got a soft look there in her eyes. Very good. She's licking her lips and she felt very, very soft right there. Just want her to walk forward. I, I don't want to make her so tired that she starts sweating or gets stressed out about that, but I want her to get her focus on me. And what I found as I was working with her is the closer she was, the more she was able to focus on me. And if I let her go farther, she immediately lost her focus and was looking at other things. So I started to keep it closer. Now, to the right, which is what we're going to work on now, she is a much harder time bending around. So I asked her to go to the right, and I had a very hard time moving your shoulder over. She would swing her hips around to the right, or swing her hips to the left, going to the right, but she couldn't move her shoulder over. This does improve with a little bit of work, but she never got it very good. Ideally, she would be able to be as soft and supple on both sides. There, I'm just asking for her to go forward. Notice, again, I'm standing very close to her, facing her shoulder. Perhaps not always the ideal, but closer to her was better. Again, she's kind of spinning in circles, and I need her to go forward. When she does, just give her that loose lead rope. Again, you notice how she sticks her head out a little bit. She kept trying to go the other direction, because she's way more comfortable going to the left than going to the right. And so that's something, doing the slow work... We want to see if we can get her. Good. There she kind of wrapped around me a little bit. She's still jerking on it a little bit. And it's not perfect. I'm still learning since I haven't had to do this kind of groundwork with too many horses. So here I'm going to ask her to back up. And she's, see how resistant she is? And she's turning her hind end instead of backing straight up softly. Notice I'm not going to start jerking on her. I'm just going to kind of maintain the soft pressure. Again, you can do this at any halter, and you're looking for slow and relaxed rather than your horse doing it fast. And now one thing as I'm watching this, I realize I wasn't praising her very much. I should have been. I think I was a little irritated with her for being so pushy, and I should have been more positive and praised her a lot more and given her more breaks. So keep that in mind with your horse that you try to remember that. So here I'm asking her to kind of bend around me and step the shoulder over, which she does right there. But she's also crowding me just a little bit like that, and she's still trying to change directions. There's a little bit better back up. She's not spinning around quite so much. Good. Just kind of making sure she doesn't turn into me. There's a little bit where she's irritated. <clears throat> Again, she kind of got distracted, so I just tapped the saddle a little bit. And notice in this direction, she's still very distracted. Give her that loose lead rope, and she's just like, okay, we're going to run around here. Pulling on the lead rope, wanting to change directions. I'm just kind of making sure she doesn't. And I'd rather not let her get quite so far away and stay calmer and not have to react, which is one reason why I should have kept her closer, and I didn't do such a good job. I'd rather see her stay relaxed than me have to correct her at all. Which means I made a mistake, not her. There, she's licking her lips a little bit, lowering her head. And again, because she was stiff in this direction, I should have taken more time. Okay, this is two sessions later. Um, I am using a bit because I'm about to get out and ride her, as you can see from the helmet. Again, this is just a couple of sessions later. I don't have the whip in my hand. I am can use my fingers to touch her belly to ask her to go. She'll step her shoulder over right there. Notice how low her head is and how slow she is. Ask her to back up. Very light pressure on the bit. 
So I want her to switch directions. And again, this is still the much harder direction for her. But she's much softer and tries a lot harder to pay attention and be softer. And this translated to a big difference under saddle as well. This can be done very, very well on your own with your own horse. To think about doing these exercises very slow. You can ask your horse to back up with the head down and move the shoulder over while staying close and bending around you. Be very positive and praise your horse a lot for that. <laughs> 